Hey guys, what is up? It is SSD Middleman here with Guides for Us All, and you asked for it, so I'm going to be doing a guide on the Auric and Void canisters that drop mods. So, if you're playing in the Auric and Void, which first you'll have to acquire a key from either regular survival or defense missions, then you will have to head into the Auric and Void and complete a task to have a chance to get uh, rare prime items or forma. But, hidden in the Auric and Void are special rooms that contain... Uh, canisters that actually have a chance to drop mods, which can be any mod in the game that is available at the time. So you could get anything from uh, fast hands to split chamber. So <clears throat> if you're really lucky, these void canisters can get you pretty much any rare mod you could ever want. So some of these void canister rooms are pretty well hidden, like this treasure room you see here. Um, it might just look like a regular room, but if you look carefully, you can see that I'm jumping up the wall to get into a secret hole where there are canisters up at the top. Now, while I'm doing this, I'd like to mention that not every canister in the void is a canister that has a chance to drop mods. You'll actually have to get to certain canisters. Um, I'm going to show several spots where you can find them throughout this video. And by the way, I actually get the Sanctuary mod. I did a video on the mod, and I finally actually got it from a Void Canister. And I'm going to show you several spots where you can get them. I can show you some of the most common ones. Um, I'll put a little text on screen when I show you the most common areas you're going to be able to find these in. And please note that all of these canisters I get are from one mission. So the potential for the amount of rare mods you can get just from one Void mission is limitless. It is pretty crazy how many of these treasure rooms you can come across in one mission. And um, some of them you might not even know about, but they're in common like hallway rooms that you go through all the time while playing in the Void. So the missions I recommend doing in the Void that are really easy to go for these kind of canisters in are Exterminate, where you don't really have to worry about failing the objective at all. You just kill enemies so you can run through. And make sure to check every nook and cranny. Don't just go through the main path. Make sure to go through doors that are off the beaten path, because those are usually the ones that have the Void treasure rooms in it. And um, just explore every possible outlet in the map if you want to maximize the amount of canisters you're going to find. Um, some of the void rooms are a little more tricky than the others and you'll have to do little timed challenges to get through them, but usually those ones have a lot more canisters at the end to reward you. Here in this video I'm running a low level capture void mission to go farm for these canisters and I find capture to also be pretty easy considering the fact that uh, the capture targets don't start running away from you until you actually see them, so you have the potential to explore every possible uh, doorway in the map before actually having to go for your capture targets and once you come across them make sure you kill them because they will run away and they will escape and you will fail the mission now a common rumor is that you can use your void key and if you fail the mission you will keep it that is not true uh, you will lose your void key if you fail the mission so that is not a good idea if you don't get the mods you want just complete the mission anyways it is a bad idea to try to fail it to keep the void key because you will lose it anyways the only way to keep a void key uh, while playing through a mission is if you get disconnected from the host <clears throat> or if the host uh, lags out or something like that. That's the only way to keep your void key after playing through a mission. So those are the void canisters, guys. Please keep in mind that you will not always get a rare mod from this. You can get an uncommon mod or a common mod, so you will not always get very lucky. Um, I personally have gotten Split Chamber, Sanctuary, and several other rare mods from this method. So this is probably one of the best ways to farm for rare mods in the game if you're not directly going for a certain one. This will probably leave you pretty pleased in the end, but if you're going for a specific mod, you're probably going to find yourself disappointed every now and then. So anyways, thanks for watching the video guys, and if you enjoyed it, please leave a like rating down below and subscribe if you'd like to see more of these Warframe videos in the future. As always, I appreciate your feedback in the comments, and I really appreciate it when you guys request a guide because I don't know all the things that you guys are looking for information on in Warframe, and when you leave a request, it gives me more ideas for videos to make. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.